Hey there and welcome back to the final part of new classification of proximal humeral fractures. Let's start with three part fractures. They can be of two variants. Surgical neck accompanied by greater tuberosity fracture, which is more common, and surgical neck with lesser tuberosity fracture. Now moving on to four part fractures, there is complete separation of the articular surface from the other fragments. In the classic four part fracture pattern, the head is dislocated out of the glenoid and has no soft tissue attachments to the tuberosities. In valgus impacted four part pattern, the head lies superiorly, while there is soft tissue hinge remains attached to the head fragment. Now let's dive into near fracture dislocations. Injuries are classified by the direction of the dislocation and whether they are two part, three part, or four part fractures. Three part fracture dislocation, there is some soft tissue attachment to the head with blood flow. While in four-part fracture dislocation, the head is devoid of soft tissue or blood flow. And finally, head splitting and impaction fractures are considered to have articular loss and have a poor prognosis, thus needing prosthetic replacements. 